That is what it looks like. It literally looks <laughs> Wow. This is when my hormonal rage really, really comes out. How do you feel? Feel good. Ready to rock this sauce right here. What? <laughs> Pregnancy diet. What is right? What is wrong? What are we even supposed to eat? I don't know. I'm Hannah. I'm the world's okayest mom. And as many of you have probably noticed, I don't pay that much attention to my diet, but I'm super pregnant. So for the past week, my family and I have tried out three pregnancy meal plans from three different sources to crack the case of what actually works. And here's what happened. There are so many conversations around diet in general and what works and what you should do and how much protein you should get and how many carbs you should be having. And I don't really involve myself in any of that. So for this round of pregnancy, I decided to pay a little bit closer attention. The rules for this experiment are my family and I are going to try three different pregnancy meal plans each for one day. I judged each one based on my overall energy level, my hunger level, and the convenience. Now, before we go into the logistics of all of this, just know that I'm not a dietitian. I work very closely with my doctor regarding any of these decisions I make and any of the changes to my diet. So please don't change anything about your diet without discussing with your doctor first. We are starting a new meal plan. We're gonna try the one from my doctor today. Um, just looking at this meal plan makes me hungry, so I'm not looking forward to it. When I read this meal plan from the doctor for the first time, it made me laugh. It reads like a diet I would follow if I was not pregnant and wanted to lose a lot of weight. Today's breakfast, they give two options. So I'm gonna give one to the boys and one for me and Matt, cause I know the boys really won't like one of them. For the boys, we're gonna do a half a cup of cooked plain oatmeal, half a cup of blueberries, one teaspoon of honey, a half a cup of full fat milk. Then for me and Matt, it's gonna be one egg and one egg white, one cup of spinach, half a cup of mushrooms, one tomato, and a half a cup of full fat milk. <sighs> okay, I've already gotten the measurements wrong. I was gonna do two cups of mushrooms, but it's only half a cup each, so that means like two mushrooms per person sliced. The portioning was so neurotic down to the amount of leaves of lettuce you're allowed to eat, and it just, it's the complete opposite of the way I live my life. Rosie, how does this smell? Oh my God. I do not do measuring. This is dumb. Okay. It's just look like watery eggs. I feel like I would eat this if I was trying to lose weight, which I'm not trying to lose weight right now, so that's why this frustrates me. For the boys, half a cup of oats, one teaspoon of honey to this, which is really tiny, and then half a cup of blueberries. Ooh, what's this? What do you think it is? <laughs> Blueberry. It's just normal breakfast. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Okay, try yours. Do you think that's enough? Yeah. Really? I feel like Matt was faking a little bit through this about how fine he was with everything because he is always hungry and when he's hungry, he's always cranky about it. But with this breakfast, he was like, mm, it was great. It was just the right amount of food. I like a nice veggie egg breakfast. And I'm like, okay, skinny, what are you talking about? That's not eat it. I mean, it's good, it's healthy. I just wish I could have made it my way. The boys ate it, it was fine, but they weren't thrilled. You don't like it? Gosh, the drama, I wonder where he gets it. Not me. <laughs> okay, I'm packing lunches, and today's lunch, one slice of quinoa bread, four ounces of turkey, one medium tomato, three leaves of lettuce, one medium carrot, mustard to taste, olive oil, half a cup of cottage cheese. 
I'm not getting quinoa bread. Here's my thing. If I have to go to more than one grocery store, I'm not going to get it. The lunch was probably my least favorite part of the meal plan because it was an open faced sandwich. It was a sandwich with one slice of bread, which I'm not going to pack that in my kid's lunch. I'm not going to be like, here is a one slice of bread turkey sandwich. Like they're at school all day. They're running around all day and I gave them enough food to get them through the day. That looks good. I'm down with that. You think this is enough food? Yeah, that's fine. You don't even get a top piece of bread. I gotta lose some weight anyway. Oh my God. <laughs> Again, Matt, I think was just grateful that the food was normal. <laughs> so he was fine with it, but I know he cheated too. He didn't tell me what else he ate, but I know he ate more than that for lunch. I am already hungry. I think I will eat one of my six to eight almonds. I don't know, eat them too fast. I immediately cheated and I ate chips. I'm not even sorry. Back on track today and we're making dinner, which is half a cup of cooked quinoa pasta, half a cup of marinara sauce, four ounces of ground beef, three small Brussels sprouts, one Belgian endive, and one ounce of cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and nix the endive because I'm not going to use those. I'm not going to buy a whole thing just to use one for each person because that seems very wasteful. Again, with the portioning, I would like to better understand why this meal plan was written out in this way because the strict portioning seems really restrictive to me. So Matt has so kindly prepped the pasta. We did find quinoa pasta. I call that a win. And then we're just going to divvy out the sauce accordingly to everybody. How do you feel? I feel good. Ready to rock this sauce right here. What? <laughs> I feel like you're the one having the easiest time with all of this. I'm so hungry and cranky. Okay, time to plate. <laughs> this is a half a cup of pasta. A half a cup of sauce. Three small Brussels sprouts. One ounce of cheese. Dinner. Dinner in my house is when everyone kind of goes to town, which might not be the best diet wise, but that's just what we do. Everyone gets seconds for the most part. People enjoy themselves during dinner at my house. You can only have three small ones, so take, take your time. Mm. Oh, wow, you're going really fast. You're gonna regret that. What, what do you think? Everybody ended up cheating. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that doesn't look like half a cup. Oh my goodness. The only one per usual who is not finished is Wyatt, because I don't know how crazy he is about the meal. I'm the only one that's not finished. I know. Take a bite, honey. You will? That was yeah. the best pasta. You liked it? Yeah. He liked the Brussels sprouts too. Got you one more. <laughs> After eating the doctor recommended meal plan, my overall energy was fine because I cheated. My overall hunger level was fine because I cheated. In terms of convenience, it was moderately convenient. Some of the ingredients were tough to source, uh, like quinoa pasta or quinoa bread. That's kind of a specialty grocery run, but overall the meals were pretty easy to cook. I just don't think food can be treated in a one size fits all way like that. And also, there were no treats. Like, where's the treat menu? Come on. Okay, it is time for a retro pregnancy meal plan. And this is where things get weird. When we went really far back, the foods were just not anything that anyone should be eating right now, especially while pregnant. So we got a little more recent and chose a meal plan from the 40s. We'll start with our breakfast of medicinal iron, two teaspoons of cod liver oil, two tablespoons of wheat germ, one orange, one egg, and one half of all cereals and grains need to be whole grains. So I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna make for breakfast. Um, I like that there are some options here and it's not so strict. Are you excited? Yeah. Do you even know what we're gonna eat? No. <laughs> Get ready. There were a couple added elements 
uh, of foods I'd never really had. One of which was wheat germ, and one of which was cod liver oil capsules. Here are the cod liver oil capsules, the iron pill, and my prenatals. Do you think you're getting something? Do you think you're getting something? Now looking at the ingredients and the vitamin properties of these, it actually seems pretty progressive that these would be on meal plans from the 1940s because they have a lot of really good qualities. But I didn't know specifically how to prepare the wheat germ. I have this cereal and I'm just gonna sprinkle some wheat germ on it. So overall, breakfast looks like a lot of food. Oh, and he's just getting <laughs> just starting. The thing that I really liked about the breakfast was there was a balance of carbs and protein. It wasn't just protein or just carbs. And so it felt like a much fuller breakfast. I put the full two tablespoons of wheat germ in my oatmeal. It has a very distinct flavor of baby formula. <laughs> What does it taste like to you? How does it make you feel? I don't know. I'm, trying, I'm still trying to figure it out. It's like baby formula. Yeah, it's okay. It's not the best. I mean, baby formula doesn't taste good. There's no good way to have a baby formula flavor. Time to make lunch. Very strange meal plan, I'm gonna be honest. An average serving of butter and meat, two servings of vegetables, in addition to a potato. So I'm going to make turkey patties and a Asparagus, roasted asparagus, and I will put some butter on the asparagus. And again, half of the cereals and grains consumed need to be whole grains. So that means we can actually eat some chips today. I opted to make turkey burgers for lunch because the meal plan didn't specify what kind of meat I was supposed to make. And I knew that turkey burgers were something my family would eat. Looks good. Looks like a nice complete meal. The veggies were good. I love that it just said two servings of veggies, not, you know, three sticks of asparagus or something like that. So we were each able to have full servings of the sides that we wanted with our lunch as well. Good, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually feel good from breakfast and lunch today. So I'm gonna work out. I was feeling it until we had dinner. So what we have left to eat is a potato, uh, maybe some more grains, uh, and the other thing that this meal plan recommends is liver once a week. Now, I don't think I've ever eaten liver. We are not a huge meat-eating household, so this, to me, is going to be the hardest thing for us to have to do. Gosh, why couldn't it be a rack of ribs? I've consulted a couple people who have made it before. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to rinse it and soak it in milk for a couple hours to get rid of the bitterness and the smell. But knowing that my sense of smell is very uh, sensitive right now, I don't know how well I'm gonna do preparing this liver. I have a feeling I'm going to cry because I already feel like I'm going to cry for the cows whose livers I have. But I took off all my jewelry because I'm gonna have to touch this. All right. <sighs> Oh my god. Oh. Okay, I need some like essential oil. Okay, I put oil in my nose. The biggest hurdle for me was the texture of the raw liver. It's very slimy. It feels almost like a heart or something. Oh god. Oh dear lord. And it's just very glisteny, like gloppy, Ugh. bloody. Oh god. Slimy. Oh. Smells. Oh. Not my favorite. All right, it's time to start cooking this. I've been putting it off long enough. Uh, I'm preheating the oven to make baked potatoes, which should be interesting because neither one of my kids likes potatoes. All right, liver is frying up. It actually doesn't smell bad. It smells okay. It just looks odd. So the kids didn't even ask what it was. They just dug in, and after a few seconds, you could see their face turn from happy to confused. What? It tastes like nothing. Tastes like nothing? What happened, honey? The aftertaste is the aftertaste is bad? Yeah. I think it was the texture that threw them off and the underlying flavors. So they ended up not liking it. Mm. It's an 
odd texture. It kind of is like the fl- flavor is a. Uh, yeah, it's a little chewy. That was not my, my favorite. worst nightmare. I don't know how to describe it. Like nothing I've had before, but now I've had it and I did it and I'm, I followed the diet. I'm proud of myself. So now we can have our baked potatoes. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that is cheesy. Oh yeah. Overall for the 1940s meal plan, my energy level was high, my hunger level was low, and in terms of convenience, it was terrible. I never want to cook liver again. That was such an ordeal. The third and final meal plan was a meal delivery service for pregnant people. It's called 25-8. I did not know that these existed. It definitely didn't exist when I was pregnant with my other two, and what a time to be alive. It's here. Oh my gosh, it looks incredible. This meal plan is customizable based on dietary needs and restrictions, and you can choose how many days you'd like to have it. Okay, this morning's breakfast is going to be this flourless seed bread toasted and sesame breakfast bowl with broccoli and ginger lentils. And I'm gonna be honest, I already tried some of this because it looked so good. It's black sesame milk and it's the best thing ever. Breakfast was a meal that I was especially excited about because it is right up my alley in terms of all the foods I love. It's all something that I would eat for breakfast if I had the time to make it, which I don't. So I'm really excited that I get to eat this for breakfast today. How's it taste? Good. How about the bread? Good? Mm. Oh man, it's really good. It's very hearty, like there's a lot of food in each bowl. And I know I'm gonna be very full after this. The second I took one look at it, I knew that Wyatt would be pissed. He's over here hiding. Okay, now try it. Give the broccoli one taste. Which kind of dinosaur are you? The one with the long neck or the one with the short neck? Short neck. Short neck? Then you can't reach. Let's see you try. Oh, I don't think you can. Your neck's too short. See? Too short. It's too short. Short neck. <laughs> oh, you got it. Good job. For those of you out there with picky eaters, uh, maybe give the dinosaur neck trick a try. <laughs> See how it works. <laughs> it's the only thing that works for us. Lunch time. I'm packing lunches. For me and Matt, we're going to do the oven baked Dijon salmon burger and fall veggie hash. For the boys, they're gonna do egg roll in a bowl. Looks delicious. Boys love Chinese food, so I think that's gonna be good. This looks delicious. These salmon cakes look really good. And then for snacks, we have collagen almond butter bites, and I don't even know what this is, but rose petal butter cup bites. My lunch today, salmon cakes. My lunch date. Hi. You can try, try my salmon cake. <laughs> mm, smells interesting. I probably should have thought about bringing salmon to work to microwave. I was that person that day. Honestly, I was pretty full from breakfast. I wasn't left hungry at all, so I probably won't even finish this. It's a lot of food, and it's really filling. It's really good. How'd you like your lunch today? Good. Good? It was good? When everybody got home, we were very hungry, and so we had an afternoon snack, which was part of the meal plan, which was excellent. These are pumpkin spice muffins. <laughs> What do you think? Mmm. Yum. Good. Right. Send your brother in to have one. Why? How do you like that muffin? Mmm. Yeah. Perfect after school snack, huh? Yeah. That's delicious. This food makes you dance? Yeah. Look at this. I wish my cooking made you dance like this. Okay, I'm fully in my PJs. I figured I should actually give you guys a little bump date because I don't know if I've really shown it that much. Here it is. It's getting there. It's really big at the end of the day, let me tell you. It gets very swollen. And on that note, I will show you what I'm going to fill it up with to make it even bigger. Tonight's dinner is a pasture-raised 
chicken Buddha bowl with veggies and quinoa and it looks delicious and so I'm gonna whip these up for each of us and by whip them up I mean put them on plates and see how the kids do mm. <laughs> you know I took one look at it and I knew I would love it Matt would love it Jackson would love it why it would hate it <laughs> oh no <laughs> What happened? What do you think? <clears throat> I'm actually really proud of how open-minded Wyatt was with this meal plan. Usually he refuses to try anything new or anything that's outside of his little wheel of foods he will eat. And he gave everything a try. So he tasted the bowl, didn't love it, ate a little bit of the chicken, but the big deal was he tried it. Mmm. Oh, the veggies are really good. They're like chickpeas and pumpkin seeds in here. Mmm. So it's super filling, I can tell already. I think this one is probably my favorite. I don't know, the breakfast was really good, so it's hard to pick. Overall, for the meal delivery service, energy level was high, hunger level was low, and convenience was a pregnant woman's dream. All I had to do was heat things up and like put them in a bowl. It was beautiful. It was, ugh, so easy. With a meal plan like this, you are paying for the convenience though. So that's just something to keep in mind. It comes at a price, uh, but it is very, very convenient. So how did we fare overall between these three meal plans? Well, my absolute favorite was the meal delivery service. I felt like it was healthy without being limiting. It didn't limit portions. It didn't restrict my intake of food and it was very thoughtful towards, you know, having a bit of a sweet tooth when you're pregnant. For me, that was my absolute favorite meal plan and I would love to eat it forever. <laughs> Even though their opinion is secondary because these meal plans are for pregnant people, all three boys' favorite meal plan was the 1940s meal plan. Something about men and their meat. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So that's all I got for today. I'm Hannah, and if you liked any of those meal plans, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear what you would eat from those. Or if you have a better way of cooking liver, please leave that in the comments as well. Uh, if you'll please excuse me, I have some treats to eat to make up for all the lost time I had with them. Till next time. Yes, I'm in the bathroom. This is how I don't have to share with my kids.